right, this is my cutoffs and cookie pile, odd sizes. So as you can see, what is on the top is dry and seasoned. Okay? Well, I haven't checked it, but I'm just assuming it's been here for a couple of years. Um, there's some oak pieces in here, a little small branch wood pieces. But when you put them in a pile like this, at least in our area, I don't know if it's the humidity or what it is, but I mean, this is sweet gum. This stuff gets, it's, it rots anyway, you know? I mean, even if you take the bark off and split it um, and stack it, it's still gonna get moldy. At least I believe sweet gum's a lot like that. So, I mean, here at the bottom of the pile, there's so much mold on everything. So much, this is oak. This is oak, bottom of the pile. This is oak, bottom of the pile. So I don't know if there's a great way to do this. Some of the guys I watch just put it in a pile, put it in a cone shape, their cookie pile, or just put it in a bin. And I don't ever hear anything about having mold on anything. I don't understand how it happens here in North Carolina, but it doesn't happen other places. I mean, this stuff down here, I mean, every single piece has got mold on it. This actually isn't too bad. This is maple. It's not too bad, but, but a lot of this stuff has bark on it. Maybe, maybe that's one of the reasons. So I'll find a few barkless pieces and see. That's sweet gum. It's got mold on it, but I would, I would expect that to have mold. This is maple, still has some bark on it. This has a little bit of mold on it. I think there's some beetles also that can play a role in all this stuff. It's like a sandy uh, sawdust kind of material that I guess they get into the wood and do their thing. I don't know if they get underneath the bark and cause all these, this sandy material, sandy woody material dust like all over the wood, which can probably help cause the mold, I would guess. See, this is maple, and it was barkless. Barkless. It's got all that dusty wood material all over it. This is oak. Look at that. But it's got it's bark on it. Maple, no bark, no issues with this piece. But with the bark on it, and it's in the bottom of the pile, in my area, it is not drying out. Sweet gum, that's actually not too bad. That's strange. And that's got bark on it. Sweet gum. Huh. Yeah, look at this. Wowzers. Maple. Bark on it. There's that whatever insect that's causing all that. I they love in this area. I don't know. Maple. A little bit of bark. Well, not really. That's the cambium layer, I believe, of bark. Um, that's got a ton mold on it on the top not really on the bottom so much oak piece just doesn't have any mold on it i think it's a post oak oak no mold let me get down in here get down in here get that sweet gum Oh yeah, oh yeah, a lot of mold on that. Oak. It's 
The stuff that's really bad, I just throw in the woods. This is oak. I mean, if it has a chance to dry out, I think it'll be fine. But this stuff at the bottom of the pile, man, I'm telling you. It's in rough shape. It's rough shape. There's hickory. Hickory. And hickory's got a little bit of mold on it. I found out that hickory's bark likes to stay on there. Does not like to come off. I think it is mockernut hickory is what I've mostly been splitting. It's either pig nut or mockery. Hickory in this area. Mostly um, pig nut and mockernut hickory. Mockernut. And I think the other one's bitter nut, I think around here there's some shag bark I haven't come across any shag bark hickory yet look how terrible that is that is sweet though I'm gonna toss that it's rough rough looking I don't know if that that will ever dry out see that one's not bad and that's got that's sweet gum kind of nervous about reaching my hand in here kind of nervous about it I'll let Chris do that Ooh. This stuff at the bottom is just, look at that, look at that, every bit of mold, algae, bacteria, there you go, loves that, loves that sweet one, that's what it was, Ooh, that was rough, that one's in kind of rough shape too, holy mackerel. smoke. That one looks perfectly fine. Cherry. It's a rough looking piece, but actually that's not cherry. I want to talk about this is pine. Pine. Pine's actually not too bad. So some of these pieces I'm going to get rid of. I don't know if they're salvageable. I don't think. Good for the woods, just throw it back in the woods. So I don't know guys, in this area, you keep it in a pile, you keep it in a pile, and you just leave it there, I'm telling you, at the bottom of that pile in this area, it's gonna look really bad. And it's probably even wetter than when I first split it. And this is cherry. Expect this sweet gum to look like that. Maple, maple, sweet gum, oak, maple. This is a soft maple. This is red maple. Red maple. Sweet gum also. Maple. And I think that is sweet gum also. I don't know if sweet gum's causing all the problems. Sweet gum. Maple doesn't look too bad. It really doesn't. Sweet gum is just brutal. Brutal. So I would split it, but it's so hard to split. I think it's best to split it when it's green, not dry. 